You know, I, I really can't believe the things that this boy comes up with, man. He says some crazy things off the top of his head, man. I, I, I think the boy got a problem, man. Uh, I, I, I think he's doing that stuff. Uh, maybe he's a... Maybe he just might be a test tube baby. Shut up, uh -huh. Craig. People say that I'm out of my mind. Crazy. People say that I'm out of my mind. Stupid. People say that I'm out of my mind. What's wrong with Let's you? Let's sing it together like a choir. Oh. People say that I'm out of my mind. Get away from me. People say that I'm out of my mind. <laughs> People say I'm crazy, some say I'm stupid, and some may call me a test tube baby, but I'm just out of my mind, y'all, 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 oh, 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 oh. You got 
excuse my behavior. I'm a little tired. I was up 3.30 this morning getting my grandma out of jail. <laughs> Police kicked the door in. She got Barack Obama Chia Pets with weed growing out of them. It's ridiculous. She come out laughing. <laughs> You know they got Kwame in there, don't you? Come off the hook. Get to the house, my blind granddaddy on the porch. Got on my grandma apple bobs. Speaking of everybody come down the street, ain't nobody outside. He's think people outside. He blind. All right, all right, right there, my man. <laughs> He crazy, man. He think everybody in a wheelchair is Teddy Pendergrass. He did not believe that Teddy dead. He don't believe it, like granddad Teddy dead. No, he ain't either. There you go right there. There you go right there. So I tricked him one day. I ain't really trick him. I just had fun with him. All right? I threw a Teddy Pendergrass concert for him right in the living room. <laughs> Like, granddaddy, it's a surprise for you in the living room in about 10 minutes. Meet me in there, okay? All right, all right, I'll be in there, I'll be in there. So I just sat in the wheelchair, like, Teddy here, granddaddy. Teddy in that day, all right there, right there. And I just started singing like Teddy. Wake up, everybody, time to sleep and do well. Push me over there, make everything real. What you have to say, push me over there. Better you have to the world is in there, somebody turn me around. Baby, then they'll listen the very best you can. Teddy got real excited when he got to his bridge, like, wake up! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> feel bad for doing that. No, no, it's fine. <sighs> man, life is good. Life is real good. Give it up for our president. Barack under pressure, man. He is. He got to make some changes. You know, we can't embarrass him. It's gonna be a problem. If you notice, Flavor Flav ain't been on TV since The Rock been in office. Real talk. There's a reason for that. Can you imagine him under pressure? White people asking him questions. So, Barack, is it? What are you gonna do about your people and their black on black crime? How do you answer that as Barack Obama? Uh, <clears throat> let me just say, <laughs> they embarrass me. <laughs> Today, they're African Americans. <laughs> Tomorrow, they'll just be Africans. themselves butt naked at a boat dock swatting flocks. <laughs> you imagine you and all your cousins at Belle Isle getting kicked out. <laughs> How could this be? <laughs> they have taken our American away from me. to my voice. <laughs> and where did all of these flies come from? That's evil, ain't it? Africans and flies, why y'all laughing at that? Somebody
somebody came up with the idea that black people and flies get along. That's garbage. We can't stand flies. We will bust a window trying to kill a fly. My man, you ever had to pause your movie to go fly hunting? Fly changed your whole life, won't it? You know where it came from? It came from them Feed the Children commercials. When you got the little African kids sitting there with the straight face. Then he just sit there the whole time, then that fly just come land on his face. Is it? <laughs> he treat the fly like it's supposed to be there. Like he ain't in violation of his personal space. Come on! I'm not real African kids, those are actors. They gotta be, they went to Juilliard. Who can stand a fly? on your face. My dog can't stand flies on them. The dog be irritated. And you, you a human being and can take flies on your face? Mm -mm. That is not true. It's not true. I don't care what you say. That's, that's not true. It's not true. Oh, let me ask y'all something. We in the African American Museum. Give it up. Now, I don't know if some of the people here in the audience know this, but Africans who come from Africa to here now do not like African Americans. They don't. I don't understand it. We did all the work. Now they're going to DeVry get an education. Over there. Go to Everest and see what's happening. They all doing something with their life now. They're doing something with my life. You know why? Because you, your ancestors made it happen. Not theirs. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I had an African that lived in my building ask me the craziest question I ever heard in my life. He came up to me like, question for you. Do you think that you are a real nigga? How you answer that? You know, I was a paw, so I answered it like a thug. Like any thug should answer that question. What? Am I a real nigga? Actually, I don't really know. Am I a real nigga? What, what qualifies me to be a real nigga? Is there a membership? Do I need to sign papers? Help me. Then he started telling me what it takes to be a real nigga. Here's what he said. Do you think you are a real nigga because you eat chicken? No way, brother. No way. No way. Goats while it is still alive. Come with me. Come with me. I tried to help him. I'm like, I don't think you should eat that goat because that's not a goat, that's a German Shepherd. I do not care what it is, it is dinner.
Do you want to see a real nigga? Would you like me to show you a real nigga? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He is real nigga. He is color purple nigga. He is silly son Adam. Oh no. One more question. This is final real nigga test. Would you have dinner with me? What are we eating? Because I'm not eating it. Dog, I know it's owner. I'm not eating it. No, brother. I have other food for you. Like, where? what are we eating? What is it? Dinner is all around us. Look at this guy. You like to eat? So I got mad. I'm like, I'm not, no, what is wrong with you? I'm not doing it. Like, well, I will shoot you. Like, oh, you think you're a real nigga because you have nine millimeter? <laughs> no way. I will kill you right where you stand. <laughs> Good night to you. Good night to you. Good night to you. Facebook. I deleted her as a friend. I swear I ain't poking nobody else. They should have won. That's some dope fiend stuff. That's stupid. Speaking of dope fiends, I'm, I'm really sick of these crackheads. I wish they would just be extinct. Any crackheads in here tonight by chance? I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> if you are, good night to you. I'm doing my part. It's crazy, man. Crack is sad. Crack horribly influenced my life. Man, I saw my crackhead auntie get hit by a bus. And then get up and keep going. I swear, she stopped, dropped and rolled like she was on fire. And just... All they had to say was excuse me. sell dirty sham wilds to people. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Sickening. He is tired of it. I'm pretty sure some of y'all ran into some tonight. Y'all had a hard time finding a parking spot, didn't you? And a crackhead was happy to sell you a free one. They got kids, don't they? Got them orange cones and them orange flags just waiting on y'all to pull up. Come on in here, baby girl, you got it. That's it. Come on now. Back up a little bit. Not cut your wheel. That's it, you got it. Cut your wheel.
trying to sell me some Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> I didn't, you know. I mean, I'm not paying you for them. Give me the Got nephews and nieces now. Maybe we can go play in the balls. Give me them. <laughs> then his boy saw I wasn't really going for it, so he wanted to sell me some. This crackhead tried to sell me some invisible puppies. <laughs> but he thought he was Terrence Howard off Hustle and Flow, which made it hilarious to me. Come on. What's going on with you, Mike? You know, uh, you look like you're in the market for a couple of puppies, Mike. But you see, I got these stealth puppies right here. Like, what is a stealth puppy? They're invisible, Mike. Close your eyes. There they go, right there, Mike. It's hard out here for a puppy, Mike. I give you ten Chuck E. Cheese tokens, <laughs> but that's it. That is it. <laughs> oh man, I'm really tired of them, man. I am. I done knocked everything over. It's okay. It's okay. I'm really tired of them, man. You know, this this is the craziest thing ever. This is the wildest thing a crackhead ever tried to sell. Me. I was on eight miles at a gas station. Two crackheads pull up on the side of me in a minivan.
crackheads act, man, that's a reflection on the economy. <laughs> it is, it's messed up. You know it's bad. Here's how, it's bad. I saw a 75 year old hooker. <laughs> with a walker. And clear orthopedic heels. Pardon the expression. Where the hell do you buy clear orthopedic heels? It's horrible. However, that's a pimp with a vision. That's a pimp with a vision. Can you imagine a group of pimps getting together talking about the future? Man, what are we gonna do? These old hoes gonna have to get back to work. It is what it is, baby. It is what it is. What about their feet, man? Mm -mm -mm. I have a vision. Clear orthopedic heels. <laughs> Wait a minute. Think Nike can produce those for us? I don't know, but my hair is so luxurious. That's all I'm saying. Skip off. They need to focus on their side players. That's all I'm saying. Slug like one in on y'all. But no, man, you, you, you know, when you see a 75 year old hooker, you need to talk to her. They find out how she got there. You know why? You gonna be 75 one day. History don't have to repeat itself. I'm serious. I saw her. I wanted to know what happened. I did. But I'm laughing at the same time. I'm like, woo! <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> this is pretty bad. You are somebody's grandma. What are you doing out here? She turned around and was like, Michael? I'm like, no, no, no. Shut up, boy. Now I got to work. Hey, Daddy. Yep, those are nipples. So you think you got enough cash for these clumpers? <laughs> Don't you wish your girlfriend could swing them like me? Don't you? It's all bad. Nana breasts look like monkey arms. Bad. Disgusting. Oh, man. I'm getting out more. I'm experiencing some things, man. I'm happy. You know, life is changing for me. I'm really happy. Um, but here's how I know when life is really be different. When white people start speaking to me and stop smiling at me. Let me explain. You ever walk past a white person and say hi and they do this? How you doing? How are you? What is the smile and run about? What is that? What is the smile and get out the way? What is that? You're leaving me to interpret what that smile and run means. Hey, how you doing? Negro. Let's go before he gets up the curse to rob us. That's, that's not what we're thinking. We don't want to rob It's not what we're thinking. It's funny, man. I had some, some racist encounters, but it's all funny to me. I don't care. It's, it's hilarious. I was, in, <laughs> I was in Indianapolis during the Indianapolis 500. Beautiful family of four, the American dream, picture of America, white picket fence, wife, husband, girl, boy, about a year apart, perfect, eight and nine, perfect, right? They're already in the elevator. 
I come in, I'm the last one in the elevator. What happens then? I come in smiling like, hi. You know, I want to be non-pregnant. So, <laughs> the lady looks at me, looks at her husband with a serious face, <laughs> looks down at her kids like she about to lose them, clutches the kids. Thank God. No matter what happens to you, you know mommy always loves you, right? You do understand this. I'm standing there, I'm like, man, would you just press six? I don't want the kids I got. Stupid. Think about it though. What if the roles were reversed? Right? right. I'm the first one on the elevator, I'm in there by myself. And all of them come in. Freak me out. I turn into a runaway sled. Explain it to your kids. <laughs> Slavery's not in history books no more. Now you look stupid. <laughs> what made this whole situation crazy? A real angry black dude got on the elevator. <laughs> this is how I know he was angry. You know how you get on the elevator, you speak, and you turn around and face the doors? He came in and just started looking at us. <laughs> Dude, 
I swear to God, I'll kill you. Just listen, listen, listen. This is all I need. This is all I need. Listen, dude. 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 Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks says I'll kill you in a race. Right now. I got the money, McDaniel. Dude, you think I don't have it? Dude, I'll risk my credit score. I swear to God. I'll kill you, man. Here's the condition. Dude, can you spot me five squares head start? Do you want a head start? But fifty dollars on the line, I know I can catch it. Here's the problem. We're in the suburbs. about is the money I'm about to make. <laughs> so here's where he gets wild. He got his five squares. We take off. Like, I'm gonna kill you, boy. I'm gonna kill you. Who gonna kill you? Who gonna get you? You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. <laughs> so when I got out of jail, next time, he calls me. He's like, McDaniel, that's Captain Tansky one. <laughs> ah, I freaking killed you. I want my 50 bucks, I swear to God, you're gonna get away. So selfish. So selfish. I'm trying to get my life together, man. I am trying to get it together. Yeah. Start getting my life right, going to church and everything. Gotta get back in, man. Gotta get focused. My problem is, I like, you know, music artists. I do. I like, he's ugly, but Lil Wayne is kind of creative. So, he is really ugly, though. Ain't he don't even like he's supposed to be on a can of bug spray? He is, he is ugly. Young money raids that killing all the flies. What are the noises he make? Out, um, out, yay. What is that? What do you sound like the video game when you get out? Out, um, out, yay. What is that? It's ugly. Hideous. Here's what will help me. If more gospel artists start doing collaborations with these hip hop artists. I'm serious. Wouldn't that be great? I would love for Donnie McClurkin to start remixing Lil Wayne's old albums. Double bag boys with Donnie McClurkin on the hook? What? That'd be so hot. I ain't ever run from the devil in my dance room. I'm about to put the dead fire on the
scratches on it, they sue like chicken dinners, don't they? Yeah, let me get that eight piece right there. No, give me a scratch it, give me the ten piece, that ain't even came out yet. Kill them when I step up in the church, all right, all right, right there, right there. The parishioners ain't gonna know what to hit them, all right, all right, right there, right there. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, right there, right there. Sharp. I like Joe Holstein. Y'all like Joe Holstein? Yeah. Joe be positive, don't he? Yeah. I'm wondering I can't stand Joe Holstein. He just too positive. He make you think ain't no devil. The devil don't exist. That's a problem, ain't it? Black people, we need the devil. That Metro PCS get cut off. The devil is busy. No. They sent you a text a week ago. Fifty-four eighteen was due a week later. It's not the devil. That's your fault. I like Joe's stories though. Joe always has a horrible situation or a horrible story and he turns into something really good, don't he? Yeah. He always talks about his friends. He's always smiling. <laughs> I have a friend. My friend lost his leg in a tragic car accident some time ago. So I went to him, and I asked him, friend, how is it you maintain such a positive attitude in light of the fact that you only have one leg? He looked at me with that glimmer in his eye. And he said, pastor, Despite the fact that I only have one leg, that does make it just a little difficult for me to walk with God. <laughs> However, me and Jesus can still kick it. Hi, y'all for Christ. Hi, y'all for Christ. Hi, y'all, hallelujah. This brother now owns a successful stream of gospel dojos where he teaches other one-legged kids karate. Hi, y'all for Christ. Isn't that a great story? Isn't that wonderful? Come on, you guys, come on. <laughs> you gotta be careful what church you go into though. You gotta be careful. I accidentally wandered into one of them come as you are churches. Nothing wrong with that. But here's the problem. The pastor had regular emotions. <laughs> but he didn't talk regularly. Regular emotions, but he didn't talk regularly. He came out excited. <laughs> then he started talking. Come on in, give him God.
bit different though. I think he just took gas. Cause when he got real excited, he would start revving it up. Can I get a
Sugar's coming, y'all. She coming? So I believe. I'm waiting. I'm right here. Sugar in here tonight. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So disrespectful. Sitting with a dude. I'm right here. What's that? That's how you get punched in your stomach. A swift elbow. Oh, you right here, huh? Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. So disrespectful. To punch in your face. Better than all these people here. You know what? You ugly, but you can cook. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you better be glad you're making them short ribs before I came here tonight. Cause you know I love the short ribs. You know? <laughs> it's crazy, man. There's some stuff out here that really gotta stop. It is. It's really gotta stop. I saw two dudes on one motorcycle. <laughs> Skinny jeans, the other had on skinny shorts. Which was which? Skinny shorts, yes. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, I don't mind. I mean, if that's, that's your life, that's what you want to do with it, have fun with it. I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't. It's your booty. I don't care. <laughs> I'm 
my grandma. My mother, baby. The balls is a boy. He is, ain't he? I almost gave him all my weed money again. That boy sucks. Come on, get it together. It's crazy, man. It's crazy who it's really affected, though. My dad, he don't know how to take it. He could be having a regular conversation, and somehow or another, he'd freak out in the middle of that conversation. <laughs> See, he'd be cool, but, hey, listen. <laughs> I took your mother down to Red Lobster. You know, she loved them cheddar bait biscuits. Got some cheddar bait, and then, you know, strawberry lemonade. That's what she like. My son's attacking! And then, you know, <laughs> Take Danny to church. She's losing it. Danny got demons. Seriously, man. Music soothes the savage beast, man. It does. Music is music, you know. When, you know, when Saul had trouble, he had David play for him. No Bible scholars in here. Nobody <laughs> heard. Yeah, he did. Hated him, but he needed him to play. I love gospel singers. I do. Y'all like gospel singers? Yeah. I want some of my favorite gospel singers to get together and sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I know y'all like Donnie McClurkin, right? Alright, does y'all like the Winans? Alright, how about, uh, mm, let me see, B.B. Winans? Alright, Pastor Winans? Alright, I know you're not a singer, but Kurt Franklin? Y'all like Ty Trippin? Yeah! Here's what it would be like if they all got the same, gather the same Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yeah. Donnie McClurk would come out like this. <laughs> come on and give God praise right here with this. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Quiet the music, quiet the music. <laughs> I'm gonna sing this out the public. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb, oh my. Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow. Brother Bibi, help me sing now. Then BB gonna come out looking like a surprise ballerina.
Hold up. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. Then you got your boy Ty Trippin. Ty owns gospel crack or something. He is, he don't never calm down, he always hype.
know, you know, Donnie, I really tried to be humble. I really tried. <laughs>
was laughing with y'all. So I kept looking at y'all and look at them. I was like, straight. <laughs> straight. Yeah. Really straight. I want to give it up for my man, Rufus Bartell, for giving me clothes to wear. Give it up for Chi and Red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love all my family. Special shout out to the Warren Clan. Yeah. Yeah. Is it moving 300? Yeah. Is it moving 300? 301 of them. It's a lot of them. I want to give a special shout out to the man who created the Detroit International Comedy Festival. He's here tonight. And the Detroit International Comedy Festival, this was the kickoff night for that. I don't know if y'all knew. So I have the last Detroit Comedy Festival. Get up, Mr. Dave Rose. <laughs> Sunday night at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, I'll be here. Be there, so that kicks off tonight. You know, Detroit song. You know, Detroit. People on sale, the way. Right next to him, this is one of my white friends. Give it up for Mr. Jim, do that. You already know, that's the guy that I raced. Um,